All right, so I know you guys were looking for Independence Day review, but here, here's here's what happens. All right, here's here's what happened. So first time I look at the poll, it showed that Michigan Action was winning over the other ones, and then I look back later on, all of a sudden Independence Day is beating it by like a lot. So I'm like, you know what? I could do both reviews. I could do a review on this movie and Independence Day. So I'm going to start with, with this one first. And then the next one will be Independence Day with Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. <laughs> what an idiot. But we're, we're going to start with this one first. Because people want me to review this also besides uh, Independence Day. And I'll probably do another one for... For Independence Day, also I do do another movie review for that. I'm put I'm put up like another poll, put like a, a Captain America two or something like that with a whole bunch of other uh, Independence Day type movies or something. But uh, we're gonna get into this movie. I was watching this last night, and I was like searching around trying to find where to watch it for free on freaking Tubi, YouTube. There's no there's no free ones anywhere. No free ones any of those fucking of Mission Ash in 1984. But, so, but somehow Mission Ash 2, the beginning, and Mission, Mission Action 3 is free to watch on YouTube and like, also Tubi, I think. But somehow not the first one. That makes no fucking sense. How is the second one and the third one free, but not the first one? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? But turns out, I was like, hey, wait a minute. What the fuck, duh! I own the fucking first one and second one. I don't, I don't need to go look around and watch it for free on the internet. I can just pop it right in my fucking PS5 and just watch it for free. I own the fucking shit. Duh! So I decided just to pop the fucker in and watch the whole goddamn thing. And, you know, I thought it was pretty decent. Because I remember before people were saying that this movie was pretty boring and it was not interesting at all or something like that and I was I, I bought into it like an idiot and I went, went on with what on with it I guess then later on I was like you know what maybe I should give this shit a, a shot and see what happens with it so I decided to watch it I thought it was pretty decent uh, Chuck Norris does a, does a great job in this movie, especially uh, Emmett Walsh. Uh, James Hong does a well good job like he always does in these movies. James Hong has been in like so many movies, tons and tons of movies. Like every time you watch movies, like oh my god, it's James Hong! That motherfucker's in everything since the, like the eighties and nineties and all, all these other years. This guy's like in every fucking movie. Great actor, I'll say. He's still like he's a great actor. But uh, missing in action. So the thing is, this this the first one, missing in action from 1984 was what was come out was be number two, and missing action two in the beginning should be was be number one. So they decided, you know what, it make more sense if they would release the second one as the first one, and the second one as the first one. It will make more sense if we did it like that instead of having it the other way. So they decided to do that, and I guess it did make more sense by doing it in that type of way. So fuck it. They did it like that, and we got this one first. And it has this, this flashback where Chuck Norris is fighting the war, fighting against the Vietnams and all that shit. Yeah, Vietnam War. The Vietnam uh, War veterans get treated like shit in this fucking day and age for some reason. I don't get it. Like, World War Two. And like World War One, and like all those fucking guys, they get treated with a lot of respect. And everyone always talk about them all the time on TV and everything. But if it's like the guys from Vietnam or the fucking Cold War, they never talk about any of them. It's like I, I don't get that shit. Especially Vietnam, like they they went through a lot of hell and shit, hell and back. All, all that, all those fucking pain and suffering they went through, and like most of them fucking died fighting in Vietnam. They, they work their fucking ass and balls trying to fight for us. And the nobody really talks about them or anything. Same thing goes with the uh, Korean War. Same thing. Nobody talks about them either. It's like, I, I don't get it. With the Vietnam and Korean War veterans, they get treated like shit. Everyone else is like, oh, wow. They did a great job fighting a war for us. Wow. They did really hard. But if it's Vietnam or Korean War, they're like, you know, they failed. So we don't give a fuck about them. Sad world. Sad, sad world. 
But anyways, yeah, back to whole Chuck Norris. Yeah, the first fight scenes that he that they had in this movie were they were pretty decent. I didn't mind the action scenes in this first fight they had in his whole flashback. Yeah, it was a flashback because he ends up waking up in his uh, apartment complex and he was like drinking beer and watching Marvel cartoons, watching Spider Man fight bad guys and shit with like uh, with other Marvel superheroes or something. Uh, that was that was pretty interesting. Chuck Norris watching Marvel. That's something you'll see every day. Imagine seeing Chuck Norris being Captain America. You know, I think that would have been a really great movie if they did that with the eighties. And they could have actually they they could have actually made a live action Captain America movie in the eighties. It could have worked. I don't think it would have been been that fucking hard. They don't need all that extra technology or anything like that. It's, they could just fucking suit up Chuck Norris as Captain America and boom, there you go. It would have made like a lot of money. I don't know why they didn't do it. The deal need all that high tech technology to, to uh Hey, it's not like Captain America is uh the amazing Spider Man or the X Men character. It's, it's Captain America. It's very easy and simple to make. I don't think it would be that hard to make for a movie, especially uh, it's based in the nineteen forties. The uh, the character, because he was fighting the war against uh the red faced motherfucker. I forgot what his name was. It's probably some simple ass name, but whatever. It would have been great if they did that. Well, anyways, yeah, he was fucking having flashbacks, and he was drinking some booze and all that shit, and then all of a sudden he fucking destroys his TV, and then he calls on the phone saying, I'm in, meaning he's going to join that uh, that thing with the Vietnam people or something like that, and they're having this meeting and all that horse shit. And James Hong plays this uh, bad guy, Vietnam guy, which uh, Chuck Norris got off the airplane and didn't shake his hand because his character is scum. So fuck, fuck James Hong's character in that movie. I would have did the same exact thing. Fuck that guy. So the next thing you know, they have an interview. Well, a big meeting of all the Vietnam guys, all the, uh, the generals. And they're saying that Chuck Norris... Uh, Colonel Braddock is a, a war criminal or whatever the hell it is he, they said about him. And all these prisoners came out and one of them say he's sorry to uh, to uh, to Braddock. Uh, Chuck Norris scared. He said sorry to him and he was like, it's okay. Then he goes to this woman's apartment. He goes inside, undresses, puts on these black clothes So he because he's going to... Uh, what he's gonna do? Oh yeah, he's gonna sneak around the town and go to James Hong's fucking room to get answers out of him. He, he fucking uh, pokes a uh, a knife to his throat and he's, and like, if you open your eyes, I'll kill you. He told him why well, he has his hand on his eyes. And you're gonna tell me where the other soldiers are at? Or where are the MIA at? And he won't tell him, but he fucking stick the the knife a little closer to his or hard a little more harder to his throat. And he was like, "All right, all right." He they're at this place. He he told him where they're at, and he he, and he like told him, "If you try anything, I, I will throw a knife and kill you." And he does try something. Fucking James Hong like pulls a gun out and tries to shoot Chuck Norris. So he misses, and Chuck Norris throws a knife at, at uh James Hong, killing him. So he he gets killed off early, and now he learned the uh. The guards, James Hong, with with the gunshot, and one of the guys comes in there trying to attack Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris takes him out, and Chuck Norris uh, gets out of the room. He fights a couple of guys, takes them out, and he gets out of there. And he runs out. He sneaks around, and he climbs on this rope, swings off the rope, climbs on the other building. He gets back in the apartment. He gets like half naked under the bed with the, with the lady and. The guards come in the room. And they're like, "Oh, so you're in the room the whole time with this lady fucking her?" And no, he did, he did not say that. I just exaggerated it, just make a funny fucking joke. But anyways, that happened, and Chuck Norris decides he's gonna leave that fucking town because there's nothing else to find there. Which he told that to the lady. So next thing you know, he decides he's going to I think somewhere in Vietnam, and he's looking for a buddy of his. Played by uh, Emmett Brown. Emmett Brown has been in so, so many movies until his death. Which he died, I think, this year Emmett Brown died. 
and my mistake. I met Emmett Walsh, not Emmett Brown. <laughs> Who the hell is Emmett Brown? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I met Emmett Walsh. Or M. Emmett Walsh. Whatever. I'm just calling him Emmett Walsh. Emmett Walsh. Yeah, he made like tons of fucking movies. But anyways. Uh, what happens what next? Yeah, so they end up to Vietnam. And he tell the, the man on the, uh, the big boat. He told him... Uh, if I don't come back in 12 hours, get the fuck out of here. So he told him that, and Chuck Norris, you know, he sneaks around this uh, Vietnam uh, fucking, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a campsite, I guess you, you call it, and he has to shoot out with these guys, and he frees some of the Vietnam slaves, and now that they're going to, like, go into the war and fight now, which you don't see those guys anymore after the, he uh, Chuck Norris saves those guys after planting C fours on the buildings and causing them to blow up. Because I remember the part this uh, fucking uh, Vietnam slave guy is like, "All right, we're going to war. Grab the weapons. We're, we're going against these motherfuckers." And after that, you don't see them no more. I'm like, "What the fuck happened to them? I thought they're gonna help fucking Chuck Norris out and shit, but no, they just disappear. You don't see them no more." I was like, "That was fucking weird." I guess they're looking for more guys to. Uh, Help them out fight the war, I guess. Then Chuck Norris goes back to the uh, the boat. It tells Emmett Walls that they moved the MIA guy somewhere else. Which turns out they end up seeing them on these cargo trucks that's driving by. So Chuck Norris goes over there with the boat and starts shooting the minigun at the, the, the cargo trucks. And get in this big fight with these fucking guys. And then the uh, the Vietnam guy shoots like a, a RPG or a rocket launcher at the at the boat, causing it to sink. And then all the Vietnam guys are like laughing about it. Chuck Norris comes out of the water and starts shooting at them, killing them. While the uh, one of the MIA guys grabs a gun and starts shooting the Vietnam guys. So Chuck Norris goes up to the uh, the cargo truck and tells them that you guys are free. You're bringing guys home. They're like, oh, we're free. Yeah, we're free. So they you know, grab all the MIA guys and. Now they're going to escape with all of them on there. But more trouble happens while they're, because there's more uh, Vietnam guys still shooting at them while they're on this boat trying to get away from them. And the Vietnam guy on uh, Emma Walsh's boat, he, he's trying to help uh, Chuck Norris and the MIA guys get out of there while he's shooting at the uh, Vietnam guys. The, uh, the Vietnamese guy gets shot and he gets killed. So Emmett Walsh is like, fuck it, I'm going to hell anyway. So he gets on top of the boat and he starts shooting at the Vietnam guys, helping uh, Chuck Norris, the MIA guys, get away on the helicopter. And this fucking, this armored fucking Vietnam boat comes and starts shooting at fucking uh, Emmett Walsh. And Emmett Walsh is best to take it out, but it was too powerful. So, because like, Emmett Walsh turns around and looks at, uh, well, Chuck Norris and MIA guys getting away on the fucking helicopter. And also he turns back. All of a sudden the boat blows up. I guess. I guess it must be some strong fucking guns. Yeah, you know, having that Vietnam boat. I'm guessing. It was fucking weird because, like I said, Emma Walsh like he turns his back. All of a sudden, like he turns around. All of a sudden the boat blows up. I was like, oh, that was fucking weird. Weird shit. Weird scene. So yeah, that happens. Emma Walsh dies, and Chuck Norris, the MIA guys, get out of there in time, and uh. I guess, I think, I think I remember the part where Chuck Norris ended up shooting at the boat and it caused the boat to blow up anyways. So I guess that scene happened and they all escape. And I guess Chuck Norris was sad his buddy got killed. So they end up bringing in the, uh, the Vietnam fucking soldiers. Not Vietnam soldiers. Oh my god, my brain's so tired right now. The MIA guys to that fucking uh, Vietnam meeting or something like that. They're on talking on TV or something. So they, they, he ends up bringing the MIA guys to the fucking meeting and shows them that, that he saved all the MIA guys. And then it cuts to the credits. The movie ends. The end. I know it was a pretty decent film. I actually really enjoyed it. I did less out one part out where Chuck Norris and Emmett Walsh were at this fucking strip, Vietnam strip club and this lady was singing pretty terribly to this American song she was singing. She was like a really bad singer. Which I guess that's how it is in Vietnam. Vietnam ladies can't sing for shit. And then they have these uh, fucking bare ass naked Vietnam ladies on, on top of the uh, the stage dancing and shit. I'm like, God damn, Chuck Norris, we like that shit, huh? 
You were like these Vietnam naked ladies. He's got good taste, I tell you. He got some good fucking taste. But anyways, yeah, that's it for this fucking review. Uh, this, this was a pretty decent movie. I don't know why this movie gets hate for. Because it's got like a, a 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb. Why is it so low? It wasn't that fucking bad. What was so bad about it? It's not fucking Mission Action 3. Or a fucking uh, Delta Force. So I don't know why this one's so fucking low as a rating. I don't want these people to be smoking. Huh? Should I look at the comments? Because every time I look at the comments on here, I always see some, or some fucking retard say some dumb shit on here. M I A spells B A D. Oh wow, you're really clever. You, you're like the biggest genius in the world for saying that. Wow. Wow, what's this, this guy's like really fucking smart. He she he's got should be like Isaac Newton, right? Fucking Nimrod. Makes Rambo look like a documentary material. That makes no sense. What the fuck? Mindless and exploitative. They're making it realistic. That, that, that's why it's exploitative. It's pretty realistic. Actually, the war is over. Well, no shit. No fucking shit. Sherlock Holmes. Wow, gee. You're like a really... Another, another, another fucking genius here. You got two geniuses. Isaac Newton and fucking... Uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 what's his fucking name? Uh... Albert Einstein. You got Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein. Wow, fucking geniuses, man. Wow. Bad Rambo ripoff. How's it a Rambo ripoff? They're totally different characters. Braddock and Rambo are totally different characters, you fucking idiot. Chuck Norris has the looks and acting skills of orangutan. Orangutan? Because of his beard and shit? Come on. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. I'm not gonna lie. He does like a ring tank. but he his acting skills. Why do you want to go shit his acting skills? He don't have to be a fucking uh, a masterpiece at acting. Terrible. Chuck Norris is a terrible actor and extremely overrated actor and holds a perfect record for never making a, wa a movie watchable. You know, I guarantee this guy is like a big fan of Richard Gere. If you say all that shit about Chuck Norris, this guy's like a big fan of Richard Gere and fucking. Uh, Justin Bieber and uh, Taylor Lautner, you know, he's like really big fans of that guy. You know, I I I've, I respect that totally. I totally respect that. But now it's time for the pros and cons and the other thing I do. I like the soundtrack. I thought the soundtrack was pretty interesting and pretty clever how they did it in this movie. Better than fucking uh, the same music over and over again in Delta Force. Oh, God. I don't want to repeat that shit again. I can't remember it anymore. That's how much I, don't, I really fucking care about that soundtrack. It's forgettable. Here, they know how to make a fucking soundtrack. And I wish they added this soundtrack in Delta Force also. Number two, the stealth parts. I think the stealth parts is like the best part in this whole movie. Where he sneaks around at night and goes a, a fucking... Uh, What's his name? Uh, James Hong's fucking bedroom and uh, gets answers out of him and then he sneaks back to the uh, department and uh, hang on the rope and shit, doing this move, doing that move. I really like those scenes. Now, I wish there's more movies like that that focus on stealth scenes like that, like how Chuck Norris does in this movie. I wish they'd really focus more on that because they do a really good job in this film with the whole the self stuff. What else I like about this movie? Uh, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. I mean, I, I like the scenery and uh, and the action here. I thought the action was pretty solid, and the scenery. Uh, there's like a lot of things I like about this film. Chuck Norris does good in here. Emmett Walsh does good. Not Emmett Brown. What, what is this? Uh, Back to the Future. Emmett Brown. Uh, the cons? I don't think I have any cons this time, actually. I can't really think of any cons. Usually I had something about it, about con. But I don't really have anything, really. I think I did, but I don't remember what it was, though. I don't know how people... I mean, excuse me. I don't know how idiots can compare Braddock to Rambo. They're totally different characters. But anyways, that's it for this uh, fucking video. I don't want to make this too goddamn long. I don't want to make those 30 goddamn minutes like those other idiots on YouTube. And you know who I'm talking about. Those idiots will make like an hour video. I don't, I don't do that shit anymore. That, that, that's too fucking long. I don't know why I made an hour video of me fucking bitching and moaning for that long like that. I don't do that shit anymore. The long as I do for now on is up to like just, just 30 minutes and that's it. I, I, don't, I don't do higher than that anymore. 
It's just, it's too much. It's too fucking much. Yeah, and by the way, uh, new poll is going to be coming up. I don't know if it'll be earlier or after this video comes out. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have Captain America in there. It's going to have Mission in Action 2 at the beginning for, uh, for Independence Day and two more other uh, videos in the, in the uh, not two other videos, two other movie reviews in the poll. And you're going to be for them again, and you guys are going to vote for those, all right? Well, I'll see you then.